Welcome back to the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. I'm Alex. And I'm Emma. Today, we're tackling a condition that impacts millions worldwide, fibromyalgia. Despite its prevalence, fibromyalgia remains poorly understood, leading to frequent misdiagnosis and inadequate treatment. But recent research is finally starting to illuminate the complexities of this condition. That's right, Emma. Fibromyalgia is a chronic disorder characterized by widespread musculoskeletal pain, fatigue, sleep disturbances, and cognitive dysfunction. It affects about 2% of the global population, mostly women. What makes it so challenging to treat is the complex interplay of biological, psychological, and social factors involved. Exactly. This means that fibromyalgia isn't just about managing pain. It requires a multifaceted approach that addresses the physical, emotional, and psychological dimensions. Recent studies have really emphasized this point, particularly when it comes to understanding the underlying mechanisms driving the condition. One of the key discoveries in recent years has been the role of biochemical markers, such as inflammatory cytokines like interleukin-6, IL-6, and neurotransmitters like serotonin. Research has shown that while IL-6 levels may not differ much from healthy individuals, there's a trend towards increased IL-6 in patients with more severe fibromyalgia symptoms. And serotonin, which is crucial for mood regulation and pain modulation, is often found to be significantly lower in fibromyalgia patients. This serotonin deficiency can lead to increased pain sensitivity and mood disturbances, which are hallmark symptoms of the disorder. This understanding opens the door to targeted therapies that focus on balancing these neurotransmitters and reducing inflammation. But it's not just about treating the symptoms. It's about addressing the underlying biochemical imbalances that contribute to the condition. Another area of significant interest is neuroinflammation, particularly involving cytokines like interleukin-1-beta, IL-1-beta, and secretory phospholipase A2, SPLA2-3. Recent studies have highlighted the role of these inflammatory markers in the medial prefrontal cortex, or MPFC, of fibromyalgia patients, where they contribute to pain hypersensitivity. This suggests that neuroinflammation could be a critical driver of the chronic pain experienced by fibromyalgia patients. The interactions between glial cells and neurons in the MPFC can initiate a cascade of inflammatory responses, exacerbating pain sensitivity. These findings underscore the necessity for therapies that go beyond just managing pain. We need treatments that can modulate the underlying neuroinflammatory processes. And that brings us to another interesting connection between fibromyalgia and celiac disease. That's right. Celiac disease and fibromyalgia share a range of overlapping symptoms, including gastrointestinal issues and musculoskeletal pain. A recent study found that patients with celiac disease are more likely to meet the criteria for fibromyalgia, although the severity of celiac disease doesn't necessarily correlate with the severity of fibromyalgia symptoms. This highlights the importance of integrated treatment approaches. For instance, a gluten-free diet might alleviate some gastrointestinal symptoms in celiac patients, which in turn could improve fibromyalgia symptoms. It's all about recognizing the interconnectedness of these conditions. Speaking of innovative treatments, let's talk about whole body cryostimulation, or WBC. This emerging therapy involves exposing the body to extremely low temperatures, and studies have shown it can significantly reduce pain levels, improve sleep quality, and enhance overall well-being in fibromyalgia patients. The effects of whole body cryostimulation can last for several months, making it a promising non-pharmacological treatment option. The therapy is believed to reduce inflammation and pain while also improving sleep and mood-related symptoms, which are all critical in managing fibromyalgia. Despite these advances in understanding and treatment, stigma remains a significant barrier for fibromyalgia patients. Many individuals with fibromyalgia struggle to receive appropriate care due to the persistent stigma surrounding the condition. Recent efforts have focused on developing tools like the Persistent Somatic Symptom Stigma Scale for healthcare professionals. This scale helps measure and address the stigma that exists within healthcare settings, which is crucial for improving the patient experience and ensuring they receive the care they need. Addressing stigma is as important as advancing treatment options. Without reducing stigma, patients may continue to face barriers to accessing effective care which can exacerbate their symptoms and reduce their quality of life. That's why a holistic approach is essential. And speaking of holistic approaches, 
let's turn to the herbal remedies from the lost book of herbal remedies that can support fibromyalgia patients by addressing these biochemical, neurophysiological, and psychosocial dimensions. For inflammation and pain management, Herbs like turmeric and ginger are powerful options. Turmeric contains curcumin, which has strong anti-inflammatory properties, and ginger provides both anti-inflammatory and analgesic benefits. To help balance neurotransmitters, St. John's wort and Graphonia simplicifolia are recommended. St. John's wort can increase serotonin levels, which may help with mood disturbances and pain perception, while Graphonia simplicifolia, a source of 5-HTP, supports serotonin synthesis. For managing neuroinflammation and pain, frankincense and California poppy are great choices. Frankincense contains boswellic acids that can help manage neuroinflammation, and California poppy offers analgesic properties without the risks associated with opioids. When it comes to cognitive support and sleep, lemon balm and lavender are beneficial. Lemon balm can improve cognitive function and mood while supporting better sleep patterns. And lavender's calming effects can reduce anxiety and improve sleep quality. And for those dealing with both fibromyalgia and celiac disease, slippery elm and marshmallow root are excellent for soothing the gastrointestinal tract. These herbs can help manage the symptoms associated with gluten sensitivity or celiac disease, which in turn might alleviate some fibromyalgia symptoms. Of course, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen, especially when managing a complex condition like fibromyalgia. And quality matters. Choosing organic and sustainably sourced herbs is key to getting the most benefit. In conclusion, fibromyalgia is a complex condition that requires a comprehensive, multifaceted approach to treatment. From understanding the roles of inflammatory cytokines and neurotransmitters to exploring innovative treatments like whole body cryostimulation, we're making progress in unraveling this challenging disorder. By addressing both the medical and psychosocial aspects of fibromyalgia, we can work towards more effective, personalized interventions that improve the lives of those affected. We hope you found this episode insightful. Be sure to visit herbalbloom.org for more information and don't forget to subscribe to stay updated on our latest episodes. Thanks for joining us today on the Lost Book of Herbal Remedies. See you next time.